Hello my dear friends and my dear students. Today's topic when the multiplication of decimal numbers with the numbers 10, 100, 1000 and 10,000. Then what the answer will come directly? How we can solve it? Okay, today we will learn about it. My first question is 0 decimal 912. When I multiplied with the number 10 means first step, we have to count the number of the zeros with the 1 is there. Here is the 1 0 means the 10 number is there. So what we will do, we will shift this decimal to the right side, okay, to the right side. How many steps we have to follow? That equal to the number of the zeros that we have counted. Here we have counted the one zero. So the decimal will be moved to the right side only the one digit. Means when we are going to multiply these terms, our answer will become zero is you can write or you can't write. It's optional. Zero, nine. Now this decimal will be move on to the next after one digit means nine decimal one two or you can write like this nine decimal one two that is the answer of the first question it's very much easy just we have to count the number of the zeros and then we have to shift the decimal okay let's see in the second example here the digits are 5 decimal 3 2 4 which is going to buy 100 which is going to multiply by 100. So here are two zeros. So our decimal will be shift to the right side of the two digits. Here the decimal and that will be shifted after the two digits. So the same number we will write from the starting first 5 3 then 2. Now the decimal will be shifted to the after 2. Now we will put decimal then 4. Yes, this is the answer of the then second question. Now let's move the next example. Here is 1 decimal 2, 3, 9 which is multiplied by 1000. In 1000 we have 3 zeros. Now our decimal will be shifted after the three digits of the right term. Okay, here the decimal will be shift 1, 2 and 3 after three digits. So, what will be the answer of this question? 1 as it is, I will write then 2, then 3 and then 9. After, we will put the decimal. So, no need to put here decimal because we don't have any next term. If you want to put the decimal, you can put then put 0, then your answer will be 1239. I think you got the concept after decimal, after decimal to the right, there isn't any value if. If there isn't any value, that means the term will be 0. There it has no value. So, 1239 will be the answer of this question. Okay, let's move on the next. 0 0.75 is multiplied by 10,000. Here are the four zeros. But you can see in the term, we have only two digits. So what we will do? We will put two zeros more because we have to make, we have to shift the decimal after the four digits okay so this decimal will be shifted after four digits so what will be the answer here seven five zero zero after that you have to put the decimal you can and you can put another zero then the answer will become seven thousand five hundred i think you got the concept that is very much easy. Thank you.